So to kind of state the obvious, we all know that Donald Trump is an awful person. He does reprehensible things. He says disgusting things about people. He employs these attacks in law and politics, which are low blows. They're just wrong to do, but he doesn't care. He does them anyway. He has no moral compass, never has, never will. And you can see this in any aspect of his life uh, from even before politics during his business career where he consistently screwed over people, whether it be workers of his or people who purchased his products, etc. But once again, we are seeing Donald Trump's awful behavior on display in the criminal trial against him in New York City, where Judge Mershon is presiding. He has now attacked his daughter multiple times over the past couple of days for different reasons, both of them being complete lies and fabrications. But again, Trump doesn't care about the truth. And we're going to talk a little bit more about this later, but we all know why Donald Trump is doing this. He is trying to taint the trial, not necessarily in a legal way, but he's trying to round up his supporters, get them riled up and excited uh, to eventually spread some conspiracy theories about this trial if he is convicted and even before a conviction is handed down. But conservative lawyer George Conway reacted to Donald Trump's attacks towards Judge Mershon's daughter this morning on Morning Joe, and I think he really put it perfectly. This is an experienced lawyer, someone who knows the game, and his valuable insight is something that I think a lot of people should hear. And then after this clip, we'll talk about Donald Trump's other statement about Judge Mershon's daughter. Have a look at that clip of Conway here. So we've got mm -hmm. this issue front and center in this presidential campaign. Also, all the legal issues that Donald Trump is facing. Less than 24 hours after he was hit with a gag order in his upcoming hush money trial, Trump has repeatedly lashed out again at the judge overseeing the mm -hmm. case. On True Social yesterday, Trump called the judge biased and conflicted. He also criticized the judge's daughter, saying she used an image of him behind bars as a social media profile picture, but that claim is false. The New York state court system says the account is bogus. Under the gag order imposed this week, Trump must refrain, refrain from discussing witnesses, jurors, lawyers, court staff, and employees in the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. The order did not mention the judge and his family. So George Conway technically not a violation of the gag order because he's going after the judge not witnesses, potential jurors, but Donald Trump continues down this road to no one's surprise, lying about a fake Twitter account that he thinks he saw. Yep, lying, uh, intimidating, bullying. That's, that's Donald Trump at his worst, and that's Donald Trump always. And he's always going to find the one thing that he can do if there's a list of things that he cannot do and that he doesn't think he can get away with. And there's, he has no compunction about it. He has no conscience. And at some point, I think, though, he can't help himself. He's going to end up violating the gag order. And that's going to be an interesting, an interesting moment. I mean, he's arguably already violated some other gag orders. But we'll, we're going to see him pushing the envelope as much as as possible, particularly when he actually gets into that courtroom on April 15th and has to sit there and listen to all the evidence against him and listen to the arguments against him. Yeah, perfectly said. This is who Donald Trump is. This is what he does. He has done this consistently throughout his political career, but especially around these criminal trials. He has attacked Jack Smith. He's attacked Judge Tanya Chuckin. He's attacked Alvin Bragg, Fonnie Willis. Judge Mershon, anybody involved in these legal proceedings uh, have fallen victim to one of his truth social posts. And inevitably, that riles up his supporters to go attack these people. Like District Attorney Alvin Bragg had received an envelope with some white powder in it. Judge Tanya Chuckin and Jack Smith were both swatted at their houses. Um, it's just terrible. And these are all connected back to Donald Trump's attacks. But again, there's no bounds for Donald Trump. He goes after people who are not even involved in these cases. You're seeing him going after Judge Mershon's daughter for apparently having a Twitter account with the profile picture of Donald Trump being in jail. But we've now learned that that is not her Twitter account. It was falsely linked to her. But Donald Trump went on this rant Anyway, and as Conway pointed out, it's what he does. 
every single time. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is not the only attack that Donald Trump has launched toward Judge Mershon's daughter. He put out this other unhinged statement on Truth Social the other day going after the judge, Adam Schiff, his daughter, a variety of people. And in this statement, as you can see on the screen right now, Trump says, Judge Juan Mershon, a very distinguished looking man, is nevertheless a true and certified Trump hater who suffers from a very serious case of Trump derangement syndrome. In other words, he hates me. His daughter is a senior executive at a super liberal Democrat firm that works for Adam Shifty Schiff, the Democratic National Committee, the Senate Majority PAC, and even Joe Biden. And then he goes on to spread this conspiracy theory about Judge Mershon being on a case and treating someone very unfairly, etc. Again, this is the typical Trump tactic. We've seen it before. He does this every single time. And again, I just think my reaction to all of this is like, how does anybody support this guy? He is engaging in the most disgusting tactics to try to keep himself out of jail, going after an innocent bystander in Judge Mershon's daughter and a variety of other people involved in these cases. I mean, he is always coming up with a conspiracy that there is some bias against him, a family member, a media outlet, whatever it might be. Donald Trump says the deep state, quote unquote, is always working against him. And you know, the final point I think I'll make on this story of Donald Trump just, again, being an awful human being, uh, which seems like an everyday occurrence, is that, again, just look at the comparison. Look at what Joe Biden is doing and look at what Donald Trump is doing while Trump is attacking one of the judge's daughters in the case against him. And I stress one because there are many cases against him. Joe Biden is passing good legislation, policy that helps the American people. He's investing directly into our communities. And they're both running for the same office, both running to be the next president of the United States. So when I'm looking at my choices in 2024 as a 21-year-old Democrat, I'm going to vote for the guy who is investing in our communities and actually passing legislation and doing the job of president and campaigning like a normal person versus the guy who's a grifter selling $60 Bibles, as we talked about yesterday, and also attacking the judge's family members in one of the many criminal cases against him. And I do think it's likely, as George Conway said, that Donald Trump violates the gag order in this criminal case against him that was recently imposed, and he could end up being in jail before the criminal trial even begins, because he's always pushing the limits of the law. But I suspect that in these criminal trials, the judges might be less generous to Donald Trump as others have been in civil trials. So yeah, this is Donald Trump's usual tactics. His supporters have no problem with him doing it. Matter of fact, they actually like when Donald Trump does things like this. It gives them someone to attack that day and be angry about uh, but I really appreciate you watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment. Let me know what you thought about this. And uh, as always, remember to keep the faith. We got this. We'll work hard and we'll make it happen in 2024.